in this video I'll show you how to fix in case on your Epson printer that uses cartridges you get those white lines on whatever you're trying to print. This means mostly that your print heads are clogged, probably you didn't print for a while and the ink dried out. Fortunately there's a different way on how to fix this issue and you do not need to buy anything. So I'll show you how to do it. First we need to make sure that this is actually the issue. So on your Epson printer, maybe your looks slightly different. You need to go into the maintenance menu on the screen and select print head nozzle check. Then make sure that you have some paper, some plain paper inserted and press the print button. What you'll get is a page that looks like this one and here you're going to see the black ink and here you're going to see the color ink. If you have some white spots, it means that your print heads are actually clogged. Could be only the black ink or could be every single one of them like here. You see the blue one has some holes. And when I'm talking about holes, this is how it should look when your print heads are not clogged. You see the lines don't have any sorts of white spots. So if yours looks like this, we'll need to clean the print heads. So on the main menu, we can do a print head cleaning directly in the printer. And if this does not work, you'll need to do a manual cleaning. So go in maintenance, same place and select print head cleaning. Make sure you have some paper inserted in the printer, press start. It will take four minutes. And at the end, the printer will print again the same test sheet. And hopefully you will get rid of the problem so you won't have those white spots. If you're still having this problem and this does not seem to help at all, let me show you how to do a manual cleaning. Now on many Epson printer, you cannot have access to the ink cartridges unless you put your printer into ink cartridge replacement mode. And to do so, it will depend on the models, but technically you just need to go into maintenance menu. Then you need to go down and select ink cartridge replacement. Next, start. Maybe yours will have a slightly different menu, but usually it's the same items that are over there. Next step is to open the top part of your Epson printer where all the cartridge are located. Here they are and to clean the print heads we need first of all to remove the ink cartridges simply by putting your finger on the top and pulling them out one by one. Then what we need to do is to disconnect the power of the printer. We can move this left and right. Take a normal paper towel, damp it in water, not too much, just a bit, you see? And then you need to fold it. First of all, fold it in two, then in four, like that. Make it stay flat. Move this carriage all the way to the left. Take your damp cloth and place it right under there. Now it's time to pass with the car carriage over. There is some ink. If it blocks and you're not able, simply you just need to fold it even more. So the carriage has place to pass over it like that. Maybe wear some gloves if you do not want to have some ink on your fingers and then do it. Pass a few times over it. This will unclog the print head. Okay. Now you can remove it. And we can already see that it's unclogging since the ink starts flowing. You can fold it like this and do it again. Make sure there is no water here. I'm not careful. You see there's water everywhere. But make sure there is no water going anywhere inside of the printer. 
I also suggest you leave the carriage on the wet paper towel during at least two, three minutes. And then once two, three minutes has passed, go away and remove the carriage. You can throw this. Take a paper towel. It's better if it's dry. And then we're gonna insert it over here. And now what we're trying to do is to remove all the excess water that may be over there on the print head. So we do the same thing. Great. Now we can remove this and put everything back together. So at this step, bring the ink bring the carriage where it was before the printer was disconnected from power put back each ink cartridges close down the lid plug back the power Now we just have to wait. Okay, so it took about five minutes and I got this message finally. Just press dismiss. And now we need to print a test page. This way we can know if what we did was successful or not. So go into the maintenance menu of your Epson printer and you need to select print head nozzle check. Make sure you have some paper inserted, some plain white paper, letter size, and then press print. Okay, perfect. So this is, these are the results. And as we see now, it's getting better. On the left side, it was before the printing and on the right side is after the printing. It's still not perfect as you see, but in the case of the blue, it got completely unclogged. The red one, the, cyan, uh, the magenta is as well, and the black is almost there. The yellow one, it's still clogged. Now you have two choices. You can redo exactly what you did since, as you saw, it's improving. So if you do a second time, it will get better. And maybe a third time if needed to fix completely this problem. Or you can, on this screen, select the X mark here, go down. And we have uh, the chance to do a cleaning or a power cleaning, depending how bad it looks. In my case, I'll do a power cleaning and the printer will try to unclog those print heads. Make sure again, you have some paper and press start. It will take a few minutes. And at the end, hopefully we'll get rid of the problem. And if we take a look, everything is fixed and we see that the lines don't have any sorts of hole or spacing between them, any sorts of gap. Just to show you again how it was at the beginning, you see many gaps and now everything looks good. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe. If you have other tricks on how to get rid of this ink clogging problem, please type them down below. And if you want to get some ink for your Epson printer or maybe even get a new printer, check the Amazon affiliate links down below. Every time you purchase something through them, you support my channel since I get a very, very small commission from Amazon each time. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.